I made this tray uh, to collect water drips off of a, a large freeze drying machine where I work. It's about two by three feet and uh, those side walls are about an inch and a half high and the edges have a like a quarter inch rollover, roundover, whatever you want to call it, uh, to get rid of the sharp edges. I thought I'd show how I bend the metal without any real uh, bending jigs or a break as they call it. So I start by laying out all the, the bending points. Uh, the lines are hard to see but around the edges there's a quarter inch line that's where the, the little fold overs will go and then uh, you can see the inch and a half lines and then the corners are notched out uh, because you'll see there's going to be a tab that folds over. This is a close-up of the corner. You can see on the right side the, the folded over part gets hammered down. I'll show how I do that later. Then the whole, uh, you can see where I notched out the metal and that side, that part in the center will be the fold-up tab. I left a little gap in that cutout part uh, so the metal won't rub against the uh, the other metal when you fold it up. You'll see. So first I join, uh, attach the, the metal to the front of the workbench with the two clamps you can see. Then the folding part is at the top. It's two one by twos. I mean, they're just a, a quarter inch down from the top where the scribe line is. And what I'm going to do basically is tap that over from right to left and uh, start bending it over. I use a big metal block as kind of a, I don't know what you call it, just to back up the force of the hammer. You can see where it's started to fold over and uh, this is just the beginning of the process. I find it's better to just go in several passes a little bit at a time rather than just wailing on it. And the idea is to get a nice sharp crease and uh, you know straight line. Then here I'm using a chisel to to define that uh, folding point even more. Sorry, I don't know the, the real words for these things. And you just keep hammering it over and over again until it gets flat. And eventually I'm just going to smack it down. And I will do that against that metal block you see in the background there. And uh, we get a nice flat bead or whatever you call it on there. Now I have it jigged up the uh, inch and a half high. You see I'm just folding it over with my hands. The idea is not just to bend it over but to try and make it fold at the, the hinge point if you will. And uh, all those clamps are to keep the wood tight so I get a nice tight radius when I bend it. And once I've gone far enough, maybe 45 degrees, I'll use the rubber mallet to really whack it down. So here I'm just working my way over. This won't make as tight of a, a corner as the chisel did, but it, it still looks pretty good. Now I'm moving back here. Here goes the mallet. Generally what I do with any of the hammers here is I don't just bang down the edge, but I try to hit it at the hinge point and work my way outward down. Otherwise it'll kind of roll over and be bowed a little bit or rounded over too much. And the near edge, you can see the little tab sticking up that's going to be folded over. I wanted that to be inside, but I didn't catch it soon enough. I didn't want to unbend the metal. So that little tab will be outside, folded over, and then pop riveted. I'm using that uh, kind of vice grip clamp because it really holds tight. I'm just keeping those two pieces of wood together. Get a 
this, you know, sharp crease. I realize there's about 10 feet of this stuff being done, folding over and rolling the edge over. The whole project took me about two hours. It's almost done. And uh, the last fold is the trickiest. That's the one I'll show next. After this clip here, I'm just going to go around the edges and do each side. And there you go. Now here's the last clip. The problem with this is I need to mount it to the bench, but the, the folded over lips on each side will get in the way. So I have to stack wood up in there. Give me something to clamp to the bench. I did the folding. I didn't do a video. Here I'm putting pop rivets in. and I folded the, the tabs over with a, a wooden block inside the corners to keep them tight. And I don't show it here, but I put our TV silicone rubber and, you know, the seams at each corner and then all over the pop rivet heads. It should be fine. It's just going to hold water until it evaporates. That's it. Quick and dirty. I hope you liked it. Uh, give me a like if you liked it. Thank you.